Baguio. We're in Baguio. At long last, we made it. I got here last night. Uh, five hours in the bus. Uh, had, I did 15,000 steps walking around trying to uh, orientate myself and I still don't really know where I am. However, just down there, we're about a block, two blocks back from Burnham Park. And Burnham Park, I gather, is kind of like the centre of Baguio. So it's, so it's a pretty good position. There's a big hill here, so you walk up this great big hill, and this is my hotel. The Paladin Hotel. I'm booked in here for four nights. And you think, oh beauty, I've made it to the hotel, and this is what greets you. <laughs> More steps. So I've got my mask on. And as you climb these steps, there are little plaques embedded in the back of the stairs encouraging you. Burn calories. Don't take the lift. Good morning again. All right, so we're on the ground, oh, the first floor or second floor, whatever it is. Thank God, because there are no lifts. So, this is my room. So you've got a kettle, reasonably good TV. The internet's pretty good. That's not bad. Uh, there's also a safe in the wardrobe. Don't know if you can see that very well. This is my my bed and as you can see I had to ask for an extra blanket because it was freezing cold last night this is the bathroom and this place you know like it's one of those faded three-star places you know, that's sort of hovering somewhere around two and a half stars at the moment the shower you turn the shower on and wait for 30 seconds and then you get pretty warm water which was good you can't regulate it but it was sort of it was hot enough um, and it's 7,500 pesos for four nights all right let's head out for a quick look so the idea is uh, show you the hotel just a quick vlog first one uh, we'll go down and have a peek at uh, Burnham, Burnham Park, just a quick look again, and then we'll go to uh, a cafe I've heard of uh, and grab a coffee. That place there, Central Park Restaurant. I went there last night, sort of like a Chinese cafeteria, and I got the uh, Yang Chow, Yang Chow fried rice, which is just you know fried rice. Uh, it was really good, 250 pesos, but uh, enough enough for two easily. And I took half of it back to the hotel, and I'll put that half in the rubbish bin later on today. So this is, this is Burnham Park. We've just got to find a way in. But it literally took, that's my street. You know, it literally took like, I don't know, three minutes to walk down here.
Well, there are people in there. I have no idea how they got in there. All right, this seems to be the way in. Gee, it's a big park. And there's a, like a serpentine, a lake with people paddling around on it. So it's not quite 9.30 a.m. on a Wednesday morning. It's pretty, pretty popular. Wow. Imagine being able to come down here every morning and have a walk. We'd live forever. Pretty good today. Yesterday was a huge day. I, I woke up at 4:30, and I got to Victory Liner at 6 a.m. Uh, and I didn't manage to get on a bus until nine uh, because the processing of passengers was so slow. Because so many people didn't have the right papers. Uh, but anyway, finally got on the bus. And as I said before, it was only five hours uh, to get here, which was. A bit of a bonus, considering I was thinking it was something like seven and a half hours. Oh, this is just fantastic. It's huge. I'll jump on the internet and find out the exact statistics but it's great. You can hire these pedal cars. <laughs> All right, but it was just a quick look. We might come back later, time, time allowing. Uh, but what I might do, just for the hell of it, because we're not terribly far from the, uh, the cafe by the ruins, but I can't quite find it. So we'll get a taxi, because I've heard they're cheaper than Manila, and just see if they actually are. And also, too, I'm not exactly sure where the cafe by the ruins is, because I asked the receptionist at the hotel, where's the cafe by the ruins? And she said, oh, you just go down the road, and then you turn right. And I said, down the road and turn right. She said, yeah, down the road, turn right. And I said, but that, that's left. And she went, oh, yeah, left. So I got lost, <laughs> surprisingly. Well, we'll see if we can get a taxi somewhere. Hi. Do you know the cafe by the ruins? Cafe by the ruins? Yeah. 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 And, uh, I think it's not far. I don't. Yes, that's right. Yeah, near City Hall. Okay, so the meter starts at 35. Oh, it's a nice clean taxi. Yeah, I have. No idea where we're going. Well, that took less than five minutes. 39 pesos. 
So it's City Hall up there, and then this is Cafe by the Ruins. Right, so there is a sign, but it's hard to see. Hi. Good morning, sir. Do you mind for if one? I video? Yeah. Do you mind if I video? Yeah, sure. For what, sir? Just for one. I just want to have a coffee and have a look around. Yeah, sure. No problem. I'm nearby, so I'm not okay. Hi, sir. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Wow, oh, look at this. Scones and... Sit here. Yeah, you're sitting here. Well, we're up on the balcony. Where, where's the ruins? The ruins are here. Oh, it's built into the room. I've actually ordered. I've ordered. Um, I've ordered a sweet potato roll. Apparently, it's a Baguio thing. Camote uh, with butter and jam, and uh, a latte. But so anyway, this used to be an old house. Uh, during the Second World War, it was bombed and ruined. Uh, and so there's an old stone wall down there. And that's why they've called it the Cafe by the Ruins. So, it's not, <laughs> not quite as grand as I thought it might be. But still, it's a nice place. Uh, and it'd be worth investigating further up the hill towards the, the town hall. But, yesterday I met a guy outside the Victory Liner uh, bus uh, triage centre. Uh, who has offered to drive me round for a fee for either a full day or a half day. So what we might do tomorrow is avail ourselves of his limousine service and uh, sort of orientate ourselves with the greater kind of Baguio area uh, and get a real feel for the, the layout of the town and go right up to the top of the mountain in a car. I've got so much planned to do, four days isn't going to be enough. I am... Um, spoke to Chef Jean Gonzalez just before I came here and he was kind enough to send me a really long list of a lot of interesting restaurants and places to go to and also subscribers have sent me some really interesting ideas so uh, after this uh, we'll go for lunch to a place recommended by a subscriber which I'll keep a secret and it's called Camote Bread K-A-M-O-T-E and I'll find out a little bit more about it. What I want to do while I'm here is eat the cuisine from the local area as much as I possibly can. Well, my coffee arrived about five minutes ago and I'm still waiting for my Komote bread and I don't want to drink my coffee before I eat my bread. So they're losing points. I'm on Cafe by the Ruins. Get it together. I think I can see it. All right, finally, it's arrived. So it's warm. I gather this is what you do. Looks like an apricot jam. Somewhere between a bread roll and a scone. It's nice.
a nice kind of afternoon tea snack. I don't know about breakfast. Yeah, breakfast. It's delicious. I've upgraded my recommendation. It's delicious. Mm. The texture's soft but still slightly firm. It's not crumbly. Mm. Well, this, it's packed. This place is packed. I would say it's a full house. Quite early in the morning on a Wednesday. So obviously, uh, words got about. This is the view. people are here for the food. Bill has arrived. Coffee 110. Uh, Komoti bread 100. Service charge 21. 231 pesos. was a bit of breakfast at Cafe by the Ruin. It was pretty good. Um, if you don't feel like going out of town or venturing out too far, it's probably a good place to come. It's very popular. <laughs> but uh, I think I want to get out a little bit further. Get off the beaten... Oh, I don't know if it'd be off the beaten track. But if you are enjoying these vlogs, ladies and gentlemen, if you could subscribe, like, and ring the bell, I would be eternally grateful. And we just made it to 17,000 subscribers this morning. And we're back at the Paladin Hotel. And I'll upload this footage as fast as I can onto a timeline, give it a quick edit, and uh, put it up for you beautiful people, hopefully tonight. Until then, take care.